everybody. Welcome back to the Medicare channel, where we uncover the mysteries and the mayhem of Medicare. My name is Holly Cohen. I am one of the co-founders of Preferred Medicare Plans. I've been an agent since 2011. I do only focus on Medicare at this point in my career in our agency, and that's all we focus on here at Preferred Medicare Plans. Uh, I like to report information and keep everyone updated on uh, this channel, the Medicare channel, to give you as much current information as I can. And I just want to, again, cover the difference between original Medicare and a Medicare supplement plan, also known as a Medigap plan, versus Medicare Advantage. So let's dive right in so that you understand. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. If you like what I'm talking about, please like this video. If you have a question or a comment, please feel free to shoot a comment down below and I will reply and respond as best as I can. Uh, my goal is to help always. Help, help, help. Medicare supplement plans. So a Medicare supplement policy is different than a Medicare Advantage policy. And there are two ways you can be on Medicare when you first start on to Medicare. You can either be on original Medicare Part A and Part B, which pays 80%. And in the six month window prior to starting Medicare Part B for the first time, and five months after, you're allowed to enroll in a Medigap, also called Medicare Supplement Plan, without any health questions. A lot of people go with Plan G. You may have heard that if you've done some research online, or Plan N. Uh, some people who have already been on Medicare for a while, they might be on a Plan F. These are all Medicare Supplement Plans, also known as Medigap. These plans are designed to only work with original Medicare. And original Medicare is who your doctor or hospital bills. Original Medicare pays your doctor or hospital back 80% of that bill, and then Medicare goes on to bill the 20% balance off to whomever you placed your trust with, whichever insurance carrier you have placed your trust with for the Plan G, the Plan F, the Plan N, these Medigap uh, lettered plans that are standardized by Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans, also known as Part C, uh, they are they are uh, managed, offered by private insurance companies, and they're usually big national carriers. Sometimes they can be small regionalized carriers um, for regional plans, but usually it's the big national carriers across the country. It is a replacement for your original Medicare Part A and Part B. And when we write a Medicare Advantage plan, we have to make sure that your doctors and your hospitals are in network. The biggest thing that people don't understand when they first start on time is the difference between original Medicare and being in a Medigap or Medicare supplement plan versus being on Medicare Advantage. And they don't understand that if they go on to Medicare Advantage, they are on a replacement plan. They are no longer on the federal Medicare system. They're on a uh, private insurance company making all decisions. And many times there are prior authorizations for many conditions. Um, it's the commercials that ran in nonstop in um, October 15th through December 7th of 2022. The intensity of these commercials um, that continued to air worse than I've ever seen in years past um, have harmed many seniors because of not understanding this one key thing that I hope you're going to take from this video, which is there are two ways to be on Medicare. You know, it, it's best to make sure, number one, that you understand the difference between original Medicare with the Medigap, also known as Medicare Supplement Plan, versus what Medicare Advantage is. It is one of the most important decisions you will ever make in your lifetime. I tell everyone that when they're first starting on to Medicare. Any questions, you can always feel free to comment below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to um, like the video. 